Uh, how about a one a Yahoo? Yeah, I'd love that. This one is sent in by Alan. Alan, uh, thank you, Alan. It's yeah, I'm sorry, I almost attributed it to you. It's Yahoo Answers user question mark. So Mike D- Mike Ditka asks, uh, what to wear to laser tag? I'm Mike Ditka. From Family Guy. <laughs> From Family uh- <laughs> <laughs> it is really, it is really hot, and I haven't got any black tanks and stuff. Could I possibly wear a play suit, blue, or is that too much? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a play suit? Mm-hmm. A, a play suit, Travis, I'm glad you asked. I Googled it. It's not anything. It's not anything okay. that exists in the world. This is so tough, because you have to find something that is both resistant to lasers mm. and nacho cheese afterwards. Yeah. Something hydrophobic and laser phobic. What it? Oh, I've got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to answer this one so quickly. We'll have to do another one, but I have the answer. And the answer is you're going to want to dress like an employee of the laser tag place. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kind of a covert. Sure. Thing. And you get blasted. Pew, pew, and you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Can you see my clothes? I'm a, ju- you- I'm a journalist. I'm covering this laser war. Are you trying to get yourself thrown out of here? Because I have that power. Could you do like a RoboCup outfit? Did I say RoboCup? You did. RoboCup. <laughs> <laughs> this a police officer. He got killed by a big gang. And they're like, we can save him, make him even better than before. And he wakes up and he's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, what did you do to me? You're like, well, you got a little handle there, a cute little floral <laughs> pattern. And you got your own saucer. You got a saucer. This is your partner, saucer. He used to be a firefighter, but we fucked him up too. So anyway, <laughs> do I have any cool robot powers? You can hold different beverages inside. And is it going to hurt when it's a hot? Oh, it'll oh, hurt. Yeah. Oh, it'll yeah. hurt. Yeah. How long will they stay hot or cold? Not long. You are not insulated. You're sort of a guy cup, so... Sorry about that. Sorry about all of it. They listen. What? They we <laughs> tried to order RoboCop parts, but Jeff over here <laughs> fucked up the order form. Did a typo on it, so you're gonna get what you're gonna. Hey, at least this, you're not dead. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'd rather be. Well, the bad news is we don't know how to kill a cup. Um. So what do I do now? Got? Am I supposed to fight crime? Uh. Well, if you want. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I mean you're, you're not a, suited for that, if we're being honest. You're a cup. And check, it feels check. like a tall order. And let me check this out. I heard Dizzy's making a live action Beauty and the Beast. Now we're going to get down, get you down there casting. You, can you do a chip? Can, oh, wait. They made that like four years ago. Fuck, man. I don't know. You might have man. a job on Sunset Boulevard. Get your picture taken with Chip the Cup from Beauty yeah. and the Beast. You know, you can make. Twenty dollars a day. No, sorry, you can't charge for those. Um, they might have a ser- sequel in the works. You never know. Might be uniquely suited. Now get on out of here. We're gonna turn someone into, into Tupperware. Well, hold on, a sequel that would be Beauty and the Handsome Dude and all of his human house <laughs> servants. <laughs> Everything's still good. Yep. Okay. Roll credits. No one's called just called Gaston's funeral. Don't nobody want to go to that. Anyway, you're a cup now. Get on. We had, conver- we had a conversation about this. We were talking about. Okay, so our we're, so we're we are uh, doing some shows in Orlando, and uh, uh, one show. No, yeah, one show in Orlando the, at the end of uh, August. So we're thinking about like ducking our heads in to Disney for a few days while we're down there. And the one thing that Charlie was really firm on is that she does not want to see Gaston. <laughs> she wants to and she, she does not want to see Gaston. And she said and we uh, Sydney and I were talking and uh, I guess in the same room as her and Sydney very briefly said like, "Well, sweetie, you not you realize that's not the same." And then she stopped herself. We can't really go down that road. We can't go down the you know it's not the same Gaston road. Yeah. Because you take that one brick out and it all sort of tumbles around you. And then I very helpfully jumped in and said, well, Gaston died. So that's a different Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> that was not better. So helpful, that, Justin. That was not better, actually. So it's a cyborg Gaston. Nothing to be afraid of there. Or brought to brought back to life with dark magics. Again, An not, unstoppable Gaston zombie. Not anything to be afraid of there. 
Why do they have that pervert Gaston even at the park? I hate that guy. <laughs> he, why does he get, he's a very bad per, and you know what? He's not bad in like the traditional, like, I'll steal your voice and then become the, no, he like he's just is asshole. a racist yeah. <laughs> and like, and he gets killed for it and like, yeah. Whatever, I, but it's wild that he's like, everyone pose with me, expectorating. Yeah, I'm yeah, a cool not. guy who tried to force a woman to marry me against her will by imprisoning her dad. Yeah, yeah. I gaslighted her dad. It was great. I eat I eat all of Griffin's eggs and spit on his car. And it's like, Jesus, dude. <laughs> you know, here's the thing, though. Listen, I don't want to blow this whole thing wide open. But if you think about it, the Beast also imprisoned Belle's dad in an attempt to try to force her to marry him. So it seems like both of them kind of suck. I mean, there should be maybe a bad Disney World where Gaston, the Beast, the bad guy from Pocahontas, who was, like, real bad. Real, real, real bad. Pretty bad. Not fun bad, like a lot of the, the, you know, Ursula. This is a different podcast. You're right. This is not our podcast. I mean, I just, it's a different park. It's Nasty Disney World where bad kids go. (laughs) Nasty Disney World, where all the villains are kept, and the bad kids can elect to go to it. They are, um, they haven't been redeemed. Mm-hmm. You know, if you if you know, it's sort of a heaven and hell situation. Are there still rides? Yes, the rides are way cooler. The rides are so much cooler, so much more dangerous and action packed. The <laughs> uh, food's all nachos, more or less, just all just big spicy beef nachos, pretty much all over. And you can just shit anywhere. It's nasty Disney World. It's where all they. It's where good Disney World keeps all the mosquitoes. Listen, it's got pluses <laughs> and minuses. The rides are cooler. There are mosquitoes everywhere. It's it's fine. Their mascot Everybody, is Sid from Toy Story. It's yeah, cool. It's really cool. You get a paintball gun when you go in. And that's nice, too, because then, like, if you're an employee at regular Disney World and they're like, Todd, I noticed that you were taking 40-minute breaks instead of 30-minute breaks, you don't want to have to work nasty, Disney, do you? Yeah. No, of course not. But then it's okay because Jafar will sell you some skunk weed. (laughs) It's got it. It's not all bad. 